Hello? Have I done it? Testing, testing. It says I'm live. What's it show? It should be showing me. Oh, it is. Cool. Epic. I'm live again. How crazy is that? That I'm live? You know? Like in this day and age, you know? <clears throat> Let me make sure everything is all good and up and running. Uh, I'm gonna move this over here real quick. Okay, so it's just showing me. Bop, 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 bop. I do. I was getting stuff prepared and ready. Um, we are going to be doing stuff. Let's be five nineteen, I think. Okay. Um, uh, maybe, maybe we'll just make it ten. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I've updated the sub goal. Oh, post tribute choice? No, I'll put it back to the other one. Should I? Yeah, I'll do post tribute choice for now. I think so. Yeah. Anyways, hello, hello, and welcome. Um, again, what we'll be doing, you can see the. the uh, <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm also a bit quiet. I don't know why I'm not speaking much. Okay, um. Uh, read description. Uh, game theme roots. Sorry, just got back from something, so I, I haven't got everything prepared. I know I said it like that. Anyways, read description. Game theme roots. I believe the description should be updated to say the correct stuff and the right stuff. Like the Wright brothers. <laughs> they were always right. <clears throat> the plan for this room. Yep, okay. it seems to be all good. Um, this is not uh, like, I guess you can see me too. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So. Um, this is sort of a continuation from what I did was working on last, uh, live stream, which was essentially a competition sort of thing where I make a game for an hour and then you guys then culminate together to create a game idea centered around, you know, the theme of roots, uh, which is what it says there. Sorry, my, my, I have very long hair, so I have to keep on brushing it up. Let me just try and fix it right now. It's good enough. Um, so yes. Um, yeah, the theme is roots. You know, you're gonna be going and um, uh, actually, let me let me bring up like a. I'll just bring up like a, a Google Doc to just kind of uh, collaborate ideas or whatever. To have like one central place to do stuff. Um, and I think this should be good. Uh, yes, 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 uh, and then I'll switch it over to normal. Oh, it's multiple means. And is everything good? Yes. I'm gonna leave it to post your choice for now, for that. Okay. Yes. Okay. So these are root, root game ideas. So this is essentially a competition, um, between you versus me. I'm clicking all the wrong things. Uh, what were some of the game ideas last time? Uh, game ideas. Um, I think Ricky came in and said, Roots, uh, Roots find source. 
um, with limited length slash energy. This is just based off of memory. So, uh, feel free to expand upon it and stuff. <clears throat> is this? Well, okay, no, it's a bit dull. I'll do that, yeah. Uh, I think there's another one that's like Conquer the Tree 2. Um, I don't know exactly what that would entail. I feel like it'd be more like an aesthetic thing, like like you would just see like hints at Conk the Tree in the game, but it doesn't really seem necessarily like a game concept sort of thing. I think this video can tilt it down. Um, ooh, one like, thank you for the for the like on the live stream. Um, so yeah, I, I can actually show you if I can remember um, the global there it is it's right there um so this is based off of the global game jam which happened a few weekends ago um and i saw i, I just i think i saw like a an article about this um and i was like oh yeah there's like a global game jam whatever but i saw like the thing about uh the uh theme so then i i watched it and i saw those roots and i thought that is um an interesting game jam concept that I would like to try um but you know I couldn't at the time I think it was busy during that weekend so um I was like you know what I have an idea to do like a you versus me um sort of game jam competition um which you know is explained more in the, in the description where essentially I create a game in an hour which I have already done and it was very quick and it yeah, I, I don't really know about it. Um, and then I, I stopped it because I, I think I was getting tired at the time and I, I didn't have the, the typical energy that I would like. Uh, so I, was, I just figured we'd pick up later with it. Um, and that is what we are doing. Oh, actually, I should put the disc with the live stream. I completely forgot. Um, live stream streaming now if you haven't joined the discord uh you know join it's it's a fun place what are so many tabs <clears throat> more we do fun and interesting things do not play myself uh and then link live stream now blah 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 cool <laughs> i like for the the thumbnail i'll just copy and paste it the uh the thumbnail but i just put part two over it um because it's essentially just a part two um i need to remember to look over here i'm looking down here because that's my second monitor where i can look at stuff two likes thank you for the for both the likes <clears throat> um what yeah yeah okay so yeah. the theme is roots um and oh yeah so the <laughs> So what will happen if one of us wins, right? And that's kind of like a huge, let me increase the size of this in case you can't see. Um, yeah, let me, your game ideas. Cause it's not mine, look, look at this. Um, so yeah, the whole thing, let me actually open up the description so I can read it myself. What, what did I say? The plan for the first, I'll be creating the, oh yeah, here it is. So if I lose, if you guys create a better game than me, then obviously you guys know more about games than me then at that point like i i need to i need to better my skills and so how do i do that is that i will have to play and finish a game suggestion by one of you um but the game cannot exceed 10 hours based off of how long to beat.com which is uh, this website here um because I, I just figured there'd be a, a thing on it um so of course you could um I don't know how long is is Minecraft to be. Um, okay, that's uh, that's a lot longer. Um, so you wouldn't be able to do that. But like, I could do Minecraft Dungeons because it's five and a half hours. That would be below the the five to ten hour limit. Um, and I'll essentially be stuck live streaming until I finish. It, so hopefully I, I'm able to finish it. Um, but that's if you guys are the better game developer and I need to improve my skills. But if you lose and it proves that I am the better game developer, then you must all play a game on my um, itch.io page, uh, which is over here. And um, all the way through, I don't know why I put all the way through, you can just, you can just play however much you want. It's, it sounds like I'm like torching you, like, 
you have to play it all the way through and you must endure it um but you play it and then <laughs> rate it five stars with a good comment because you know i'm the better game developer so obviously i make great games here so you know you have to then follow suit and you know rate one of my games play it stuff like that the, the game the games are pretty fun <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's just a win-win situation either way is for you guys but regardless um that is sort of the plan um and that is kind of where we're going uh so like i said i had actually made already made um my uh game in an hour um so i'll just bring it up here uh which one is it it is Root control, that's what I called it. Um, so yeah, of course, you guys will be discussing game ideas. Uh, the last stream, there was a few ideas of roots find uh, sources with limited lengths, less energy. So it'd be like, um, like I'm imagining like a 2D scene and, and you'd have a root and there'd be like maybe rocks as obstacles and stuff that you have to go around, uh, but you have a certain amount of length. And so you're trying to get to um, like a water source, whatever, whatever the goal is. Tongue of the Tree 2, like I said, I feel like that's more of just an aesthetic thing. I, I mean, I'm basing it off of that because Tongue of the Tree is already a big game, and I don't think like Tongue of the Tree 2, maybe like a Tongue of the Tree prequel would be like short enough to make it an hour. <laughs> um, because that's the thing, you guys think up of game ideas, and then for um, an hour. I will then create whatever um, it is that is requested. <clears throat> uh, has it opened? Yes. Um, so I actually made a menu since since last scene. So game one, this is mine. So you have to get to the water to to grow. Uh, I feel like the X is flipped, but that doesn't matter. Um, and I'm already like almost there. I don't even have to do anything. But you press space to launch slash stop the roots, um, which is a very interesting mechanic, as you'll see. Uh, let me start growing a root this way. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> this is a very strange game idea. And then let me just do this, and then it should roll. If I create like a spring type thing, will that work? I have no idea. How? What is this looking like? Oh, that's that's a very large radius. <laughs> um. Okay. 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 I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> so as you can see, it's it's an interesting concept, but I wouldn't necessarily call it like a um a great game. So you could definitely probably win on this one. <laughs> um. They just suggest game game ideas and stuff. Uh, it could be, it could be whatever, as long as, you know, I'm able to... Oh, I've made sort of like a wheel. Um, as long as I'm able to create it within a certain amount of time, which is now a... <clears throat> grow, grow. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> it becomes really long and really unstable after a while. Really cool to look at, though. Let me grow this way, push it this way. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so I'm trying to go over there. <clears throat> you can see everything correctly, I think. Yep. Cool. It's weird live streaming. Got it tell you <clears throat> something um, that I didn't expect in some ways and some things oh, okay I'm really I'm really rolling um, but yeah um, anyways I, I think I've, it's it's definitely something that I would want to do more live streaming it's also something that I would want to um, not do all the time. And like, 
develop my skills a bit more. So I didn't realize what skills were involved with live streaming. So I actually started live streaming. <clears throat> so it's kind of like a journey. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty much my whole YouTube channel. It's just this weird journey of like, hmm, I wonder what this will do. What if I do this project? Ooh, okay, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. I'm trying to pass the time while I wait for suggestions to come in, more people to come in, and... The shadows are moving. <laughs> I'm just facing off the shadow. Because I can't zoom out. I can't. Okay, we're almost there, we're almost there. <clears throat> I can't see the chat, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Boo, 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 boo. Uh oh, I wasn't paying attention. Did I do it? Almost. Oh, yeah, and I should say, um, uh, so I, I sort of had for season two, like making a video per month, but of course it wasn't actually a video. Um, for February, um, that's because behind the scenes there's some things that need to happen um, that makes it not able to come out right now. Uh, but it is still being worked on, um, and it is still uh, going to come out as soon as as soon as the behind the scene thing works out is good. I am releasing that video. Um, but I'm also going to be working then on a, um, uh, the next video, which I think that one would be really cool and really interesting, and I'm very excited to work on that. Um, boop, 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 um, I know, it's good. I think, what else is there? I think I've done it. I wish I included a timer, but I don't think I had time. I ran out of time to include the timer. Go, go, go. Push. I've almost done it. I think I'm in the water. I'm just gonna make sure by continuously pushing. Okay, okay. Now I'm definitely in the water. I would, I, would, I would consider that a win. Oh, I think the water's, um, has physics, so you can't actually go into the water. You just, like, lay on top of it. How does this look? Oh, look at that spidery mess. Click, click, click. Can I click him? Click him, click him to win. There he is. Uh, let me go to, ooh, that's a lot of roots. Um... Look at this. Look at how many colliders that is as well. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this has physics. It does. If I disable it, and then I click play. Oh, I broke something. I didn't mean to. It doesn't want to play anymore. I'll re-enable it. Nope. Is that fallback? I don't know what that means. Um... Yeah. Uh, again, I'm just waiting for game suggestions. Oh, tupa 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 tupa. <laughs> okay. Yes. That was that. And now, I think... Oh, I... Sample scene 2, I think, is... Okay, it's blank scene. This is where in your game. Your game will go in an hour. It'll be quite interesting. Because doing that in an hour it was actually a lot more intense than I thought it would be. Um, and I actually messed around a lot more with the, um, the terrain, um, modifier, or just terrain in general in Unity, and I haven't actually messed with it that much. I think I, I messed with it before, 
I think it's like the first thing that I ever messed with in Unity was the terrain system, um, because I think uh, a couple of my very ambitious game ideas that I, I, I just aren't able, I, I'm not even able to make them now, <laughs> even knowing like how to do a majority of game development. Um, but yeah, they're, they're future projects, but yeah, I was working on them, and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna launch myself into game development with this crazy game idea. So I was messing a bit with the terrain generation then, but it was an undeveloped system, pretty much. It was it was very hard to work with. Um, so I stopped working with that, and then started working on a simpler project, which is Aventoire. So working on that, that was the first official kind of game that I had created. Um, yeah. <clears throat> there he is. There's the Ricky. Um, so yeah, we're... Ricky, if you, if you haven't been, um, informed. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. We're continuing part two. So, uh, well, I have the, um, suggestions here. Uh, someone suggested Conquer the Tree 2 while you were gone last stream. Um, but then, I think yours was Roots Find Source with Limited Length Slash Energy, um, if I'm correct. If you wanted to add on to it, like, like, uh, yep, like, rocks as obstacles, um, and stuff like that. Um, but then, yeah, I'll, I'll have an hour to then work on the game idea that you guys have together as a collective. It's one ginormous root. Just one root? Root. I did it. <clears throat> um. Yes, 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 yes. Bam, bam. Um, what's your image? Oh yeah, another thing that I've been working on. Um, well. I wait for some game ideas to come in. Um, is I've been working on the virtual robot simulator. Uh, now, if you haven't seen that, it's a great virtual robot simulator that simulates the FTC competition, the first tech challenge. Challenge. <clears throat> um, how do I? I think I. Sure. This thing here, I've been. I'm. I'm rooting. I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of root puns. Oh. This isn't. Well, I mean. I'll. I'll, <laughs> I'll include it. Root. Uh, I can't spell rooting for you. There'll just be a random pun in there that just says rooting for you. Like I'm rooting for you. I think that'd be really funny. <laughs> I'll include I. I am not him, me. Um, we have been working on this on the robot, um, custom robot insertion for this, which will be pretty cool and pretty epic. Um, but yeah, that's that's where a majority of my focus has been. While well, I've been waiting for the background thing to happen for the next video. But, I've started working on the next next video, to, or I'm going to start on the next next video, because it's now March, and I have a different video project for March. Another one for April, and another one for May. The game, or not game ideas, video ideas. How long to be? What's, so if, if, um, if you guys win, Ricky, what, 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 would, what would be your suggestion for a game? Did you mention one last time? I wonder if you did. Kept in Minecraft. Wait, it, Minecraft story about the chain. My cousin made it to stay in robot. Oh, epic! That is great. Um, that's... I, I think that's UIL state. Um... Yeah, uh, FTC is pretty fun. I did it back in high school. And now I'm working on a project that helps you 
um, develop it, develop your skills both in FTC and also out of FTC. Um, so you can like learn programming yourself without needing to be in FTC because uh, there's lessons here you can see. Um, so, some of these are my lessons, I think, maybe. Nope, my lessons are gone. Oh, because it's not even PowerPoint. Smart dude he is. Smart, smart dude. <clears throat> so yeah, you can see right here, this is a different robot insertion process where, you know, you can select between those two, but mine. I mean, I can show you it, I think. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing secretive about it. <clears throat> Um, what was it? It was, let's go off, what, what's off? Let's go where, we're gonna see that prototype in Florida, or do I just died, sorry about that. I like this music. I listened to video game music recently because I think it was like raining. And I was like, it would be it would be really nice to listen to just the Minecraft soundtrack. So I was listening to that, and Spotify was like, Spotify was like, I'm gonna mix it up for you. And I was listening to other um, Minecraft music or video game music similar to Minecraft, so like Subnautica and. Uh, um, and portal and things like that. How long is Subnautica to be? Sub, I feel like it's gonna be a while. Sub, how do you spell Sub? Uh, it's probably there. Yeah. Alright, uh, you can't suggest I can't beat all of Subnautica in one go. Because the thing is, it's probably gonna take me longer. Because number one, I'm not used to video games. Number two, I'm not used to that specific video game. How long is Cuphead to be? I have Cuphead, and I've started playing it a bit. Ten and a half hours. You could technically suggest me to play Cuphead if you guys win, because I've already started like half an hour in, so... Um... Yep. Yeah. Roots, roots. Think of game ideas. Oh, I was gonna show you the the project. Uh, prototype importer is just making sure my laptop doesn't overheat. I'm gonna close this temporarily. Look at this robot insertion process. I think if I leave this on for too long, it will heat up and die. So I'm gonna turn on the fan. Sorry if you can hear the fan. Can you hear the fan? Maybe. I don't think so. I think it's fine. We hear the fan temporarily. Um, if you do. Just to make sure my laptop doesn't die and then the whole stream goes complete. <clears throat> but yeah, this is what I've been working on. Look at that UI. Um, so technically you should be seeing this right now. This should be the beginning stream. It's playing uh, Kenshi and Fata Boss. I thought, uh, I thought it would be hard, but my OP character one shot him. I can't believe this point is going to use him as fanning and put him in a cave. <laughs> That's funny. Um, it's like, um, like Undertale. And it, like, Undertale puts you in that, in that weird situation where if you build up your, um, like, EXP level, you can, like, one-shot the characters, but then you kind of feel bad. Because it's, uh, as I said, I can impact, but it's not really about this. There's a delay. Uh, what did I say? <clears throat> um, but yeah, anyways, this is what I've been working on. Um, pretty cool project. Uh, this is kind of, you know, the simple bot that you've always been seeing. I've been working on some of the motors, making them realistic and stuff, as realistic as it can be. Uh, you can see you can change the robot color. You can change the team number, you can change the position of the team numbers. 
Um, oh, I can't hit escape. I'll just do that. You can change the total weight that the robot weighs um, for physics-based uh, stuff because it will be it will be as physically accurate as possible, and that's all my job. <laughs> um, yeah, you can change it for Omni wheels or regular wheels, and the physics should update to that. Um, and then, of course, if this offset is wrong, you can change it so you can see it change back to like zero. And then, if it's um, specifically for like Omni, if it's like flipped the wrong way, you can then change the individual color of, of the of the wheels. Um, let me just deselect them. Um, and you will eventually one of my characters be trapped in the Oh. Um, <clears throat> sounds dangerous. Um, oh yeah, but for the Omni Wheels, this is too much. I know what that was. I'll have to look into that. Um, right here, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, you can select them, deselect them. Oh, you will eventually be able to, like, change out for, like, different type of micro noodles, not just Tetrix micro noodles. It's like if you have the smaller, the normal ones, you'll be able to do it. Just trying to make it as flexible as possible. You can see I've already pretty much rigged it all up from left drive, from right drive. You can turn these on or off. Um, and it is a pretty cool system that I'm very proud of. Um, so you can see I'm trying to physically make it accurate. Uh, I was going to say you can see the, the debugging at the bottom, but I think I'm covered up the debug stuff while I'm working on it. Um, it's outputting some values that like test to see that it's physically accurate based off of all of these motors. And it's pretty much just using the speed and the torque. I'm going to say the speed and the RPM, which are the same. <clears throat> and then of course for these things here. Ooh, okay, we don't need to fix that. <laughs> the gear ratio, um, it should be saying one to one, but it's a little bit into that because I, I've changed the value. Uh, but yeah, you'll be able to select different joints, say this joint should be working on bad, reverse it, gear ratio. You can put limits on it, which is something that I've worked on recently. Look at those limits. So you can see that the limit system limits it and then you can also remove it if you don't want that there and, you know it's a it's a pretty cool system eventually we're going to do servos and sensors and then game elements but we can't do that right now that's very unfortunate and just a lot of work and so you'd be able to just drive around so you can see i can drive around right now and <laughs> you can see it's a bit finicky right now because i'm working on the physics um so the physics is a bit broken um, like you can output the telemetry train it's like, oh look, driving system. I think this would be a very cool and useful system for people in FTC to be able to test the robots like driving around and programming. Um, like say, I think like during our competition, um, I think we, we got like a, a few like judge points, I guess you could call it, or, or like the judge judge liked it whenever we said like yeah we had a test bot that we worked on which was pretty much just like mechanism wheels to like test our like spline program because we were going over complicated with the programming because it's kind of what i like to do um and um yeah it was oh yeah and they said that they liked that because it was a um it was just a, a nice way to test something while the engineers are working as in this essentially creates the, the same thing, where if the engineers are working on the robot, you can still test your programs out virtually, as well as the um, the drivers as well, uh, to do like strategies and stuff. Um, but then if you're not an FTC, it will still be very useful because we'll have um, the lessons that you can see. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a lot to do. But I hope that I should have this whole system done by next season. It's so like mid-August, mid-September, something like that. Um, and we'll also have the new field, um, because you can see, like, the different fields that you have there. Um, I mean, this is, it's just kind of a, I think it'd just be a very cool thing to play around with, because I always kind of wanted to do sort of a, um, competition like this, um, like, before FTC, because I was in FLL, and, um, which is Lego League, I'll make Robo Jesus, you do that. 
um, because I was in FLL, the first LEGO League, and I was like, man, I really want to do the FTC, but I don't know if there's a team. And there wasn't really necessarily a team in high school. It's become much more of a thing now, but before it wasn't really. So I would have really enjoyed something like this. Because, you know, you have like Hour of Code, but it's, I feel like it's kind of simple at some point, and it'd be really interesting to kind of more apply it to a physics-based system of like the arm needs to go up, but you need to make sure that the arm doesn't go too far up. Uh, but then also stabilize and make sure that it has the correct power to just make it barely stay in its position. Um, because that's a lot of the stuff that kind of dealt with, and like spining and stuff like that, making that yourself. Um, I just really liked what I was able to do in FTC, and um, I just think it's a cool program. Anyways, that's my, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get a paycheck for uh, <laughs> um, telling you guys about it. It's like, ooh, it's like advertising it. <clears throat> But yes, so here are the current game ideas for Roots. Um, <laughs> going back on topic, um, I'll wait a, a little bit longer before um, actually working on it. I love watching the plot files that goes hard. I was actually in, okay, sort of. I sort of signed up to be in a robot or a battle bot competition, um, but it didn't go so well <laughs> um, because I think we had like a few weeks and we had like a it was like a three or five pound weight limit. I think it was like three pounds. And a lot of the, the stuff that they gave us just did not work well. Like all the electronics and stuff. Luckily I wasn't doing the electronics, but um, it was just, there was a whole lot of complications and unfortunately we couldn't compete. But the, I think they competed um, this past Sunday at a University of Texas in Austin. Um, and it was, uh, I watched it live. I watched the, um, they, they live streamed it. And there's one robot that, that did really well. And it was sort of like our robot design, but, you know, it would have been awesome to see them fight up against each other, but unfortunately we weren't able to. <clears throat> very unfortunate. I feel like I'm very white. Let me turn on the yellow lights in the room. How's this? Not really. Maybe do this a little bit. Um, how's this? Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> um, so yes, that is what is happening. Yeah, it would have been fun. We'll do it next year though, or next semester. I don't know whenever they're gonna do it next. It's either next semester or next year. I'm going to join, and I'm going to kick everyone's butt. <laughs> um, because I think we could do it a lot better next time, now that we know what we're doing. Like, making a robot from scratch is a lot harder than you think. I mean, it's sort of the same thing for FTC, but you didn't have to, like, wire everything up yourself. Like, FTC specifically has, like, no wiring involved. You just have a control hub. <clears throat> control hub, uh... Sure. I wish I had a fan in my room. Yeah, it's a pretty nice fan, especially since I have no air conditioning. Like, the air conditioning vent doesn't work well. Um, I hope you at least have air conditioning. <laughs> um, yes, this is the control hub. You just plug everything in there. Uh, it's pretty much like an Arduino, where everything just works through there. Um, but then for actually competition you had to do and make everything yourself and that was um something that was hard um it looks like i'm, I'm like 10 at least 10 seconds delayed which is weird boop, 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 boop. it was all wired up to that Alright, so if, if, um, no, what's it? Bam, bam. In the house, I had one, but now I live in the apartment. Oh, yeah. Can you fucking have fans to do? Remember. I heard they, I think it really depends. Do apartments <laughs> um, have uh, fans? 
ceiling fans. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I thought so. The U.S. most apartments are privately owned. Do, it does not require to have ceiling fans. Tenants do have options, although they would have to pay at... Cora. Um... Too much info. I don't want to read. And I love money. What's a lot of money? I was on this. Oh, uh, no. <clears throat> well, at least you're in an apartment now. Um. Yeah, fans are probably pretty expensive. I, I, I know you could hit the search icon there. <clears throat> oh yeah, did you hear that? Um, that the Olympics is going to have eSports, which is um, quite an interesting thing for them to be having. Uh, Olympians animal ties on worldwide. I don't know what that means. Sports. eSports. I don't know how it would get to eSports. They don't have that much. Um, I saw an article or something. Oh, eSports right there. I, I, I can't see. See. <clears throat> um, oh, you've heard about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it's pretty interesting. eSports no way. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. It's, it's really weird. Because, like, I kind of, I looked at it and, well, okay. The first thing the first time that I saw this, it was in a quoted tweet saying, like, it's pretty much just all, um, um, Wii Sports games, which is true. They're all, like, pretty much just Wii Sports games, um, but, you know, not actually, uh, Wii Sports, like, Tic Tac Bow and stuff like that. The weird one, um, that kind of stands out to me is that they're doing chess.com for chess, um, which is weird in two ways. Number one, there's already, like, big competitive chess competitions, like, all the time. Um, so it's weird that they, like, Olympics is, like, entering into the ring of chess competitions. And then the second thing is it's, like, so it's, um, I imagine, like, at the end, um... I imagine at the end they would be in like one room, but they would still be like competing virtually. So why wouldn't you just have the chessboard there? You'd still be like on a computer. It's kind of weird. And then, yeah, I don't know. Because, I mean, in order to, I guess, sort of qualify for any of them, they would have to prove that you're not cheating. And so I imagine because of that, you'd have to do it somewhere, like like at a, at a location. Um, specifically probably Singapore, because I think that's where it says it's going to be. Um, isn't it? I actually don't know. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, global virtual and simulated sports competition in the first ever streamed live. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. I mean, I guess it's kind of like... I mean, it would have been really cool to have this during, like, the pandemic. Like, oh yeah, if you can't compete, you just do this. But now it's kind of, like, sort of weird. Maybe add some poison as something to push the root back. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Game idea. Poison to push root back. Webcam. Why is my webcam frozen? Oh, it's off. Can, you, can you, well, that's it. I'm gonna pick my nose. You can't see. <laughs> um, I don't know why my webcam. Can I turn it off? Turn back on. That was weird. I I didn't know that could happen. Um, poison to push root back. Cool. Push back, probably goes. I'll, I'll, I'll put them in brackets just to just to kind of get the idea circulating. Is it frozen again? Looks frozen there. Okay, no, no. it should be fine. 
focus, not my bugs. <clears throat> yeah, because like chess, you know, you've done it before. And plus, the thing is that all of these are, you know, games that you'd be doing in Olympics, anyways. Like, I imagine that they're doing archery, tennis, sailing, and all that stuff um, there, anyway. So, it's like, why would you have both a in person and also a virtual? option which is again kind of going back to like COVID that makes sense for COVID but like right now it kind of doesn't necessarily make sense um especially because then I imagine imagine that there's gonna be memes of like um I wish I could compete in archery and they like show like the actual person doing archery no we have archery at home and it's just the tic tac bow like the just a room full of people on the computers or whatever because I don't it's like um the thing is like uh with like just dance for example you're i don't know why i go off on these tangents i think they're it's i i go off on these tangents before with someone else and then i'm like i want to go off on the tangent again um i don't know i don't know if this is like an enjoyable thing to watch or whatever that's just something that i do anyways yeah for like just dance i remember playing that you know back in like elementary at like a um uh summer camp or whatever uh, i'm gonna leave this open um tell me your root ideas uh, and then i'll increase the font and center it <clears throat> yes um keep the focus while i tangent about other things um but yeah, so then for, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, but then for like Just Dance, like playing it in elementary for like a, uh, for a summer camp, I always like, you know, got into it, really started moving with it and stuff like that. But the thing is the game, it's analytical based in terms of like a point system to where sometimes people got higher scores by just doing this. And they're just matching it exactly compared to me doing more rhythmically based things. <laughs> um, so it's like, I, I mean, I guess for like, there's also kind of like dancing competitions anyways. That's not like just dance based or it's just analytical judging and not necessarily um, like performance based judging, like actual like dance competitions. Um, so it's kind of weird in that sense. Uh, but the main thing that I'm looking to see what happens is what they do next like like to kind of see which ones they remove and why and which ones they add and i think that'd be it'd be oh you can't even i would would you uh create a game with uh unity uh let me open up the root control i want to have a game created uh so right now what we're doing is it's sort of like a competition so i we we both um both me and then the ideas from you guys all combined together to essentially be a um competition between the two ideas um to then with the game idea with the game theme of roots uh, which i have more details in the in the description um yeah feel free to um comment ideas and stuff and I'll, and I'll combine them all together into into something um which should be very very interesting <clears throat> oh yeah but this is my one right here that i created keep in mind i created an hour <laughs> and the game ideas roots super cool um thanks uh so yeah right here you can see you're supposed to get to the water and then you press space and you grow a root, and it's 3D base. And I don't think I should have gone 3D base. Although, I, I would say the only thing about this is it's good to, it's, it's fun to watch. <laughs> but not necessarily fun to play, because it takes so long to get to the water. And at that point, you've just had like so many roots. Um, I don't really know where to go from here in terms of like, if I were to make this into like an actual game. Um, I think it can actually go upside down. Yeah, I didn't limit it. Um, but yeah, I have, we have a few suggestions already right here. Um, the roots 
Find source with limited length as energy. So sort of like this, but I imagine it was more in a 2D sense, the game idea. Um, and then, you know, having rocks as obstacles, uh, poison to push you back. I can't double click correctly. Thank you. There we go. Um, and then, <laughs> just a joke, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> would, be, would be funny to add some And it's kind of like Conquer the Tree 2, which is themed around a game that I have created before. Um, yeah, anyone feel free to leave down root suggestions and eventually, probably at like 6 or something, I'll spend an hour creating a game out of the ideas. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll, I'll do this again. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, but it was, <laughs> back to my tangent about, uh, the eSports. <laughs> but I'm, what I'm mainly interested to see is their reaction to it. I think that's what I really like about anything that happens, is people's reaction to it. And like, what, what they, what the company does to react back. Because I mean, I mean, it's, it's something to, for like, Oh yeah, you know, some people saying it's positive, some people saying it's negative, but after a while the arguments kind of become the same. What's really interesting to see how the company reacts. Like for example, for like the, the Sonic movie, they, uh, you know, they had um, uh, the original, um, this, this guy here, <laughs> they had that, and then the community reacted badly to it. I mean, some were positive, but mostly negative, and then they redid the whole thing. Which was a really um, interesting thing to see happen. Um, although it could be sort of considered bullying and peer pressure in a way. Or it could be that they um, care about the fans and they wanted to make sure that it looked good. <laughs> although probably Sonic. <laughs> I said, have you seen the, uh, I, I seen like the clip of the Chippendale um, uh, Sonic clip. I've seen that clip and I <laughs> thought it was really funny to like bring it back. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> but I like seeing that stuff happen, I like seeing the reaction to things. That's why I like creating things out. I feel like seeing the reactions. I gotta update my subscriber count. I hit 500. Oh yeah, I got an email. Um, earlier. I'll have to do this real quick because I can't open it on my second monitor for some reason. Do some more. You're closer to getting a... I actually moved the goal down. Typically I'm like 20 away most of the time. But now it's like 10. Um, I mean the main point. Of, of having the goal there is just for um, just for reaching 500 which it said that I reached I got an email about it and then I look at my subscriber count it was back at 499 I was like what is this <laughs> foul yeah <clears throat> my dad messaged me to start training for the Olympics and get my Wii Sports out. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty much all Wii Sports. But, like, none of them's actually Wii Sports. Apparently there's, um, a new Switch eSports, but it's not as good. Um, like, people played it, they just... They just didn't hit the same. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Um... Yeah, it's very interesting. Very, very interesting. I, I, I don't even know, like, half the games as well. Because I know, like, I haven't played Just Dance in a while, but, like, like I was saying, it's, like, it's analytical, and it's, like, people could just do one arm. But I think now you can do, like, both arms, or, like, there's tracking of the whole thing. Thank you for the three likes on the video now. Thank you for the third person. I especially appreciate the third person. Yeah, go on. That's a funny thing. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm probably not going to watch it. I'm just going to see, like, the aftermath. 
But I mean, it was kind of the same thing with the the um, Danny Depp Amber Heard trial. <laughs> that went all over the internet, um, and it was interesting to see how both people react outside the the courtroom and both inside the courtroom, based off of the outside influence. Um, because I I believed in the outside influence for like the first week or two. But then they went a bit too far for a majority of people um, for that for that trial day. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it was just interesting to kind of watch that. And then I felt like I definitely shouldn't watch it because it just got really bad uh, people's reaction. Six o'clock. Should I start making the game? We have a few ideas here. Let me let me actually sort of work with you here uh, and like find these these game ideas or something. Okay, so root find source with limited length slash energy. Um, imagine you probably want. I guess probably. I'm thinking maybe a. Right now I'm thinking of like those mobile games. Let me just look a mobile game ad. Um, hopefully it's nothing weird. It's a lot of weird ones, but it's like I should be able to find it. I should, like, and I, I know it sounds weird, but like for mobile game ads, I feel like I should like censor. Them. Is it? No, it's not like that. Um, where is it? Where is it? What am I looking for? I'm looking for the one where they go through and they are trying to get the most points. Get the most points, get the most points. Where is it? I cannot find it. Um, type in like running. I mean, I guess it's sort of kind of related to um, Wow, oh, where's my water? Where's your water? Where's your water is? Here's my water. Oh, for the, uh... Did I put water? Oh, I didn't put water. Water. Gain. Energy. Sorry. <clears throat> um, what else? What else? Or, what was I looking for? Uh, yeah, it's sort of similar to... I don't remember what the game's called. What is this game called? Um, I cannot think of the name. Uh, but it's sort of like this one. What, of what I'm thinking of. Like, you're trying to go through and you're trying to... Like, oh yeah, you're supposed to... Here, it's like this one. Right there. <laughs> Basically, what I'm thinking of is you're just like the, the the person is the root, and you're trying to go through and like. <laughs> uh, actually, here's some better examples now. Um, yeah, like like that's a rock, and then that's water, and you're trying to go through, and you're trying to collect points. Like that's what it reminds me of <laughs> with the um with the with the game idea that we have currently. And I want to try and avoid that because I don't I don't know with the root. Replay. I mean, I guess I don't even see the replayability of mine. So, it would kind of be the same. Um, breaking up game, bikes, those obstacles, poison pushing back. What else, what else could we do with this? Feel free to throw more things into the pot by putting in more game suggestions. Place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I kind of wanted to avoid that idea because I kind of had that idea. It's like, well, I think I could avoid that if it was 3D. And but now mine's just a weird like physics simulator of like just growing noodles. Um. Yeah. Okay, let me let me think if it can be done in 2D, like in some in some unique way to make it interesting. Lots of obstacles. Um, what if it's, what if it's, um, okay, this could be interesting. It's like a dynamic 
it could be some sort of like dynamic uh, soil where where you have to like do the content. Now it's going back to the other mobile game ads uh, <laughs> of like uh, where is it? We're just creating a mobile game ad or just a mobile game. That reminds me of this one, like, oh, it's dynamic, and you, like, pull things, and <laughs> then you get it. <laughs> Man, I can't, but it's, like, combining both ideas, like, no one's thought of that before. We could, we could be making the next number one app right now, bubble up. I think maybe have all of the stuff be 3D, but still 2D as the camera. Yeah, yeah, that, I, I like that idea as, um, and making it unique and stuff, I think that's more of a concept. Oh, where's my water side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking of. With the dynamic soil, soil that is exactly what I was thinking of. Like, the where's my water. That is the exact same thing, actually. Um, where's my water? I used to play that game all the time. It was very fun. <clears throat> I mean, I do like where's my water enough to not feel like to if to where if i were to just recreate it i wouldn't feel like oh necessarily be um I, i'd be fine with recreating you know <laughs> uh but wasn't there like um a algae or something yeah it's yeah, very fun uh there's like an algae or something that um that you had to avoid. Yeah, that algae. I feel like that's like the roots. Hit the water, the roots will absorb it. Um, oh, where's my water too? <clears throat> oh my god, look, it's where's my water? <laughs> um, I don't think I'd be able to create the whole thing in and out, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, dynamic soil, like, I can't type, where's my water? It's right here. Um, this does kind of seem like a very much where's my water type um, game with, the, with all these game ideas here. <clears throat> Uh, but how would I go about creating it? Without, like, I have to make it unique. Uh, especially since I have to have the roots involved. Like, are you, is the game mechanic you digging away dirt, like the original game? Or... Um... Like, you're growing a root? And you're telling it where to go, and then it does stuff. Oh, look! Look at the whole game. Change is good. Here we go. That's the whole game right there. <clears throat> what I'm making. I guess it could be. We'll make it in real life. I'm gonna laser cut it and then assemble it. All in now. You're the root and the steering guys. Okay, okay, okay. I wonder if. You know, what would be really funny. Is if like you, <laughs> it's pretty much like the same levels as where's my water, except. You're just a random root that's growing and trying to reach the water. Burning through the dirt, going more down the game. Um, but it's like you're the root and you're like trying to get through, but then the game's also being solved at the same time. So you have to get to the to the water before all the water's used up for the shower. <laughs> it's like, where's my water? No, I'm stealing your water now. <laughs>
I feel like that may be a bit too complicated making an hour though. Like a digging mechanic through there. Um, could I do that? Uh, maybe a little bit. Um, probably make like five games or something and it would just be or five levels i mean i'm making five games oh. Oh. i don't know it still kind of seems kind of simple 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 pimple where's my water three yeah where is the third one we're literally making where's my water three Sink or swim? Why is this searched up a lot? Yes, uh, something sinking or swimming. Okay. <clears throat> so an idea is like, uh, make sure that my laptop isn't overheating. I'm gonna turn on the. Can you hear the fans, by the way? Because I know I have the noise cancellation sort of thing happening. Um, but I wonder how well it's working. Or I have to like talk louder. So it can have it. Um. Root trying to get into before user. <laughs> uh, but user in, in quotes. It's not an action user now. Interesting, interesting. What if you're a root and you're a root? So I'm, I'm all brained out. I'm back in theater though. That was fucking sad. <clears throat> Water gains the energy, but it's supposed to push the back. Any a root. I mean, a root could support something. A root could grow to something. <laughs> Damn, the laptop still so hot. I have to keep the fan on. Am I? Oh, it's because I'm running it. So this is how my laptop does. They overheat it and it explodes. You don't want to see my laptop with your explodes. Bam, bam, bam. Thinking like bubble game and stuff. Like I know that there's one where it's like, I think it's um mobile game targets. Uh, no, not shop. <laughs> Shopping at Target. Target. What? Anyways, I was thinking of the game where like you, you know, like 
mystery and you're trying to read Missy Group, like, you know, all the movie games here. Like, you can have them the same type of dream, but say it's supposed to my brain. Green Cook Seed and Oh. <laughs> okay, then. Um. Oh my god, look, it's Minecraft Earth. What if you recreate Minecraft Earth? What if you have to go out of the world and you have to find roots? Put it in the AR style type of game. It's real! I also gotta get out of the Olympic esports. I don't know about what esports are doing. Free tardies, free tardies. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So they yeah. It's gonna be function. They said it because of, um, it came out during, like, the pandemic. But the thing is, they shut it down. Remember, the pandemic was slowing exponentially. Uh, and people didn't want to stay inside of that. So I was like, uh, okay, it's, it's a weird point to like close it off whenever the pandemic's ended. ending. And um, you're saying that it didn't cost it just because of the pandemic. Um, I like to act. I always think, I always, I always have great um, hope for AR games because I think they can be really cool and interesting. Like, if you've seen the FNAF AR game, um, FNAF AR game uh, trailer, 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 these are trailers. Okay, so, uh, seeing this was amazing. Skip this part. I mean, it's still good because, you know, it's Markiplier and it gains a lot of traction. Thinking of ideas is hard. It is actually very hard to think of ideas. Even I'm really struggling. <laughs> um, oh, it's just hard to get started with an idea. Um, and then actually, like, think it's good enough to make. And then whenever you're in the middle of making it, it's like, will like continue or do I stop? But anyways, this is the trailer, and I thought this was gonna be the best game ever. So it's like seeing like the eyes in the closet. That's pretty cool. Whispering. I just couldn't hear it because I know that there's music playing over it. You walk around, you see posters. That was a bit weird, but you know, just ignoring that part. Because that was more of the actual game. Um, going out here. I mean,. Granted, a lot of this is, you know, obviously set up. Like, you can't. Burn Gully? Where. Burn Gully? Hold on. <clears throat> um, obviously, this is all, like, set up as, like, a stage. Like, you, you obviously can't do all this in AR, like, create a new room in your room. <laughs> um,. It's me having them outside, having them on your chair, going around, and then outside of the window. Have the animatronics get closer to you. I think that it would be cool, but the actual thing you're just standing around and you're zapping things because <laughs> this is pretty much the whole gameplay the only thing that's changed 
um, is that there's there's just more skins. The movie. That's an interesting one. See, most of the time you get game ideas or just ideas in general if you um, uh, are doing other stuff. So that's what we're doing. This is how we're thinking of game ideas. We're sidetracking. <laughs> um, but yeah, the only thing that's happened here is they just have like more like skins of like, oh look, it's American Freddy. Um, oh, actually, this is this isn't even the main game. He's just searching for the. This is like the idle gameplay where you look for orbs. Um, oh, here we go. Here's the actual game. Yes. Yeah, you're just standing around, looking around. Like you don't even need the camera on. You just like there's no. It doesn't scan your room and do something or whatever. The only thing that it does that's like AR is that it um. Look and then you zap it. Um, the only thing is that um. Oh, it tracks your location and like, oh look, the animatronic is headed your way. But you could just, you know, say that normally, like, oh, it's it's just headed your way. Then you win, and then you collect the animatronic, or the or the bits and pieces and stuff. <clears throat> um, but I think Pokemon Go is sort of similar to that, in a way. Except I think you actually have to travel places to encounter stuff. Uh, but it doesn't like scan the room or whatever. And then Minecraft Earth, I think, was pretty interesting in terms of um, in terms of how it worked. I think that would be probably the best type of AR game. I mean, it wasn't it didn't like scan your room or anything, but you could still you could have like two people look at one build that's just there, and then you're like you you're creating it. You collect like weird animals, which I think was really cool. I something that I think. Minecraft should have, or, or I mean, I guess creative um, expeditions in general, is more creativity and more steering away from real life. Um, the depth of our swing is really pick an air game. Apparently, it's doing really well. Because <laughs> the AR technology is there. Like, I can easily make an app that like scans the room and then places something in the room. The FNAF dude, not my Uh, yeah. He, well, it's, it's like a whole company. It's like, it's, it's an official FNAF game. Um, it's like the one that I try and forget about the most. Um, yeah, the, the Minecraft one, like, you could, two people, you know, you're, you're, um, interacting whatever you're in you're in the same house like you had the he you, you actually had like some air uh, technology of like fittings like it, it like cut a person out if there was like a person in the in the scene um so then it looked like they're actually in the building and stuff i mean it could have been a whole lot more but um at least it was it was going somewhat with the technology um now the game that i think could do really well with this technology, which I've I've done a YouTube video on before. Is <clears throat> oh, technically I'm not supposed to see the subscriber count. Oh, I can't see it. Lore. Uh, this one, Plants vs Zombies in augmented reality. I think that, that could go many uh, places. <laughs> um, and I think the only technology, I mean, it'd pretty much be the same as. Um, Minecraft in terms of how it works. You have two people, or you have one person, you just place it in your lawn or wherever you want, you fight, and you go to different places and you collect more plants, more zombies, whatever. Uh, it's pretty much just uh, pretty similar to Minecraft, except you know, you can do your own things with it because it's a different franchise that has different mechanics. Uh, oh, and then the thing that I was talking about before of uh, something that I think Minecraft and creative endeavors should have more of, you know, breaking away from reality, which I say that in the case of, um, uh, oh, the, um, like, if you, if you look at the, like, there's a mob vote, and in the mob vote, they had, um, it was like, 
Moobloom, Isolager, and the Glow Squid. The Moobloom and Glow Squid, uh, like all the mobs in general, they're pretty cool and interesting. They, they're like something completely new that you wouldn't expect to, to be made. And I, I think that opens up... I, I, can, <laughs> I can talk about how um, just making creative concepts for, for mobs. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna go all the way in on that, but, um, yeah, just, just opening up to new experiences, like the Aether mod, you know, like, is something that I've been looking at recently. Um, it's like, yeah, you're up there, and then it's like, oh, well, what do you do? Uh, like, there's, we don't have giant floating islands in real life, so they have the complete ability to do whatever they want in terms of, like, you know, flying pigs and stuff like that, because that kind of goes off of... You know, when pigs fly. <clears throat> it's an in general, you know? Just being open to... To, to be able to create whatever. Um, and you don't have strict real-life rules. But, they still do follow rules is an interesting concept that I think goes a long way in terms of creating creative projects. Which I think the uh, Minecraft Dungeons... I don't know necessarily about Minecraft Legends. I don't know if they have... I, I think all the mobs are pretty much the same. But, like, at Minecraft Dungeons, if you look at it, like, they have unique... unique wildlife, unique terrain. Uh, like, it looks all mystical and, and adventurous. Like, why don't you put that into Minecraft? I know it's all realistic in Minecraft, but, like, it could be... it could look more legendary. Or dungeony, I guess. If it's this game. would make it. I mean, like, imagine if the whole game looked like this. The standard Minecraft. Instead, you have the, the unique biomes, uh, the, the lighting, and, like, like those are all, like, I think, like, new blocks, new new lighting, and stuff like that. Um, searching specifically for, like, for, like, outside, like, you see, like, the leaves and the, and the flowers and stuff. Um, that all looks really cool. And I think they're all, like, half slapped as well, so you can, like, easily walk through them. I wish, I wish Minecraft didn't ground themselves in reality and actually make the game fun and do their job. Yeah, I think they're, they're I will say that they are taking a, a step in the right direction in the terms of introducing um, ancient mobs into Minecraft, like the Sniffer. They said that was the first of many that will be introduced into the game. That's, that's like ancient, so I, I like that they're adding that new kind of branch onto Minecraft that's not based off of real life. Um, and it's like they said that for um, for adding any hostile mobs, they're not actually going to add in any real life hostile mobs besides, you know, like spiders. <laughs> uh, well, I guess giant spiders. Aren't there. But um, yeah, the, they're going to do it to where um, like any hostile mobs that you have aren't based on reality. But I think they should have more things not based on reality and more, I don't know, dynamic and looking like this. And then like the mobs, like like the Moobloom was just a different type of cow that like enjoyed, or like, yeah, enjoyed flowers. And it's like just adding that little bit of variety and making it not necessarily based on real life just really opens it up and, and really gets, gets my brain going in terms of thinking of, of ideas. Um, because I think if you, this, this was a little while ago, but if you've seen my, um, uh, scrap mechanic, uh, videos, um, where I talk about, like, oh, you know, some, like, development ideas for, um, for the game. Like, this, this one specifically, dev ideas for farm bots. Like, the farm bots in that game, I think, could be really cool if they all, like had slight different personalities and stuff besides just like oh I go and attack or oh I just spawn in like everything just spawns in that in the game and it, it feels like the whole world revolves around you right, anyways that's that's going off on the tangents of scrap mechanic um but um hear someone playing guitar outside um <clears throat> yeah so many game ideas anyways <laughs> I gotta I gotta stop going off the path Eventually, I'll do the, 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 anyways, what is this? Uh, like at this point, modders make more in way less time than they ever could at this point. They've literally millions, and yet they barely do anything here. 
I will say that a lot of stuff that they are doing actually does help modders, um, which I, I did notice. Like, like if you compare making something now compared to uh, much earlier, I mean, you can do a lot more stuff in vanilla. I mean, in vanilla by, by making like resource packs, uh, data packs, and functions and stuff like that. With those three things, you can actually make like a lot of just um, mods without needing to code, like officially code, it's like Java and like modding the actual game. Um, it's a lot more. They put in a lot more accessibility things. It's it's a it's a lot more of a slow burner, but um, yeah, it it is it is kind of slow, but you know sometimes patience is perfect. Patience is key. <clears throat> Because I mean, like, you know, are you going to complain that I'm taking forever to upload videos and make video games? Because I'm taking forever. <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm delaying hits. Anyways, now that we got, now that I'm speaking of game development techniques and stuff, I can, uh, I can put more energy into this. Okay, I remember, okay, one more tangent. I remember um, doing a game jam. And like, oh, in order to get your game rated, you should rate other people's. Like, more radio updates. Yeah, I think... They used to make, like, two per year, but now they make, like... Or... I don't know, they... Before, I didn't even realize that they are really making updates. Um, until, like, if Minecraft Live, or Now, or whatever it's called was a thing. Minecon, whatever. Um... And they started like officially like announcing them and stuff and that was um um yeah and then at that point i think they're making like two maybe one and a half updates per year but then i think they they overstepped in probably how much they wanted to do they probably felt the pressure i think well, I think they are a Norwegian-based company. Like, Mojang is Norwegian. Um, but Mojang Studios, and I can just see. Uh, no, yeah, Sweden. What did I say? Uh, if I said Norway, I meant Sweden. Swedish space in Stockholm. I think they have, like, um, mandatory, like, breaks and whatever. Like, they, um, they don't get as cracked down on making games in time and stuff like that than companies in uh, in the US from what I've heard. Um, yeah. What was the last thing that I was going to mention? Last thing. Oh yeah, this game jam, you know, in order to get rated yourself, you have to rate other people's. The thing is, I was finding that whenever I was rating other people's, I was like looking at it, I was like, oh, this, this is a whole lot of potential. I read, write up like a whole paragraph of like, I mean, like, right now, you know, it, I, I really like this mechanic, this mechanic, maybe not so much that mechanic, but I think this could really go places if you do this and this and that. And then they respond, they're like, oh, wow, you know what? You're right. And then <laughs> it's just a whole lot of back. I think I got invited to um, one of the servers for one of the for one of the game dev um, people that I talked to in case they were to develop the game further, but they, they didn't. Because uh, I think their game... I don't remember if their game reminded me of a game that I wanted to create, or if their game has now inspired me for a game idea that I'm sort of related to that game. So many game ideas that I want to create, but I can't do because I'm because there's so many of them, so I have to do one at a time. Um, you know, two or three at a time, like I'm doing now, <laughs> and then also. Um, uh, you know, they they take a long time to make, and so, um, so yeah. So, time to focus. It's cool. What's cool? Uh, Minecraft? I know Minecraft. Minecraft's the coolest thing that exists. <clears throat> okay. Let's get, let's get down to business. Oh, I don't want to be copyrighted. Strength. Um, dynamic soil. You could, um, you could, you could, you could, you could, 
Ooh, I, I had an idea. I mean, this doesn't relate at all. I just think it'd be... No, I can't. I can't do that. I can't give you guys the upper edge. I had an idea. I can't. You guys have to come up with it yourself. So, let me just, you know, spitball here for you guys. I, like, out of what you guys are saying. So, you, you're saying, like, dynamic solar, right? So, imagine, like, I don't know. Maybe you're suggesting, like, cubes of soil or whatever. No, I, I, I don't Thinking about it now. What I was thinking, I mean, I guess you could work off of this uh, if you wanted to fully develop the idea. Is you would you would be a person or a wizard or whatever, and you're trying to get through this level, um, and it would be a 3D level, <laughs> and so probably not gonna do it, but uh, 3D level. And there's these blocks of dirt everywhere, and they're very loose, and you're like, man, I can't get through this place. In order to get through it, you have to arrange the dirt blocks, and then command your root friend to then go through all of the blocks, making him sturdy. And then you'd be able to walk up. I don't exactly know how that work. Like, in terms of, like, the overall game mechanics. To make it kind of interesting. And also, it's 3D. And, um, I'm worried I wouldn't be able to do that in the time of... An hour. And plus, it's my game idea. You can't take it from me. Oh, broke my fingers. Okay, um. I'm gonna do it soon. I get so distracted all the time. I'm sort of not like this in person. Unless I am. I actually don't know. I need number two, root souls. Like dark souls, but with roots? I don't even know. I know dark souls is like a is like our game, but I don't even know like how it, how it works. It's like, uh, it's part of the something series. What is it? From Soft, from Software, whatever. Um, what if you're attacking roots? No, this is it. <laughs> I didn't say that. What, what, are, you, what are your ideas? <laughs> um, unless that is the idea. Of attacking roots like that. Because that's kind of a cool game idea. You have like a root and it's like trying to wrap around you. Or like you have multiple roots and they're trying to wrap around you. Then you have like your sword or like fire or something. You're trying to like... I, I guess probably a sword, you know, like trying to slice through them before they all like capture you and like trap you. What would that be? Hey, would that be too complicated? No, I could do that. I'm sure it's after the program. Fast too. I I don't like programming fast. I like taking it slow. Imagine someone enters the stream and say, like, oh, this is about making making a game. And then, or, or, or like they're seeing like the past, um, the rewatch of it or whatever, the VOD. And um, they're like, man, he doesn't get to make the game until an hour and a half in. <clears throat> what is this? Have an area where you battle waves of enemies made by a giant tree. They're made of roots and can have armor. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This doesn't relate at all to my game. It's different and um, is unique. Well, sort of. I mean, you could call it root souls. Souls, root cells, and root control. Root souls. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Sal, that would help. I'm just, I'm just imagining, because anytime that you say something like that, of like, oh yeah, there's this big guy who makes little guys that attack you, I'm just imagining like, do, 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 like they have no idea what they're doing, but they're like, eh, eh, am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? And they're literally just following the order of the, um, of the tree guy. Like, it's more like quality over quantity, or quantity over quality. It's more like the quantity of them matters more than the, the quality. Which I think could have a could have a good um, effect to the game. <laughs> I I always wanted to make an enemy as well, where it's kind of like dynamic, where like if you um, 
like if you chop off their arm, then they can still like reach for you. <laughs> Root two. <laughs> what? Well, I know. Like, I know. Hold on. Let me. Uh, let me remind myself. Uh, how do you spell this? <clears throat> There it's sad sex stuff. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know why I think it should be censored. <laughs> okay, this is what we're making right here. <laughs> yeah, HP Lovecraft. I think HP Lovecraft HP Lovecraftian stuff is Um I've always kind of wanted to get into that sort of realm of like storytelling and stuff um you know like like bloodborne and like uh dark souls and stuff have that big trees could do in tree form i'm a genius you are They're, those are the roots um i'm gonna make it 2d i think that's what i'm gonna do because i um I'm trying to think what I what, what all can be created in an hour with this game like this. I, I think this is actually a very good idea. But I also don't want <laughs> it's not that I don't want to do too much stuff before it. It's that, you know, I don't have time because it's only an hour. <laughs> uh, here we go. Cute. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> having a lovely time. <laughs> what is... uh, anyways, um oh two and D D and maybe three people. Okay, 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 okay. Root souls, um, you know, the Thulu in the root form is that how you spell it? Eh. No, it's not. Root souls, Thulu in root form. Fight root men. I think it's just gonna be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. To make it simple, you're just an arena. Very simple looking arena. You see the, the big root, root Thulu in the distance. And um, it's just random group enemies pop in, and they're all going to be the same enemy. And the the arena and all that shouldn't take too long. The player um, should be first person or third person. I think first person could, would be pretty funny. <clears throat> and then you'll have a sword that shouldn't take too long. You'll have one enemy, and then it's however enemies that you can like defeat in a short amount of time or or before you're overwhelmed or something like that i think i think that is a good idea and i can do it within an hour um but now we need to think uh what what do root men do what what do what do do what do 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 what do 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 the root men Root. Okay, so they will bam bam. I think they'll Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. I think they should be able to combine <laughs> the roots. They're like they so the one tactic is to try and surround you. Um, but you can, you can, you know, detach your arms if you, if you slice them and hit them enough. Um, and I think, yeah, I, I think it'll actually be really cool and you know, rusty sword. A rusty sword, but, uh, you'll, you'll get the rusty sword from like, from like a random NPC and he'll, he'll just say, I'm rooting for you. Going back to 
and coming back to that. <clears throat> um, and keep in mind, Ricky, if you want to create like 2D um, images of both Root Thulu and this random NPC, I'll, I'll include that. <laughs> I think this would be really funny. Okay, at 7, we can start for me. 7, 7 15 minutes. We just have to oh, oh, think about what, what do the Ruben do. Okay, so they'll surround you uh, by linking. See, this is why we've taken so many detours for the past two hours to then get to the perfect game idea. <clears throat> uh, surround you by linking, boo, 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 and then... They're like, take the armor and weapons of the dead soul. <laughs> that, that could be cool and interesting. So they surround you by linking, um, then there's also armor, yeah, yeah, okay, 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 so there's armor, um, yeah, okay, I can, I can see how that works, and weapons. Send you by linking or um, waving their arms. And if you get hit, you just get knocked back. I think. And eventually, be so surrounded. They just can't, you can't swing your sword. Because the thing is, what I'm thinking is everything is physics based. <laughs> Instead of collision based, because I don't want And also, then there are also, well, I guess physics based will also need uh, fine tuning. Um, but yeah, so you have your sword. I wonder if. Yeah, yeah, okay, so you could. You can hit, like, left click to swing it, or you can just swing it by moving the mouse around. Um, everything is physics based. The sword could be, like, wobbly or whatever, so pretty much similar to, um, like, uh, World's Fine Chef, that game, uh, in terms of the wiggly thing. Um, yeah, 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 oh, my back, I'm standing up all the time. Have I ever sat down in a stream? No, I never sit down. It's prison phase, they wave the arms around, uh, armored weapons, I think, maybe later if we're able to get to that. Uh, especially like, um, yeah, yeah, maybe I don't do armor weapons for now, because I don't think I'll be able to get to it. Okay, we have an idea, I will actually start in two minutes, and I'll have until 7 minutes. So we have 10 minutes to relish it all in, whenever I'll have live stream three hours. I don't know why three hours is like a time that I always do. Like, yeah, three hours. Any other suggestions or anything? So I make a dome. I... There's the big... There's you. There's a... You have, you have your sword. Yeah, I can just make that out of box. Uh, and I'll make everything in the face. But with the root guys, how will it make those? I think they'll just have to be like capsules. I don't think I have time to actually like model it. 
That's just an hour. Look, we're gonna start soon. 15 seconds. And I'll be bam, bam, bam. And if you want to create assets for the game, go ahead and do that. Like, for example, the Root Sulu and the guy who gives you the rusty sword that says, I'm rooting on you. Everything else I think I should be able to do. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Ooh. I need to eat after this. So hungry. Is it time yet? Oh no, it's five seconds. Ooh, okay. Can I even make a dome? I don't even... <clears throat> I don't think I can. What can I do about that? I can just create, you know, I'll just create boxes going around. Um, I need to create... Uh, wait, where'd it go? There it is. Uh, I need to create physics for the guy. Um, I guess I could steal it from the other one. No, I can't because it's not. It's not a. It's not a character. It's not a character. It's not a character. It's not a character. I had to make sure to say it three times so you understand. Capsule. This is the player. And you also get to see me create a game. Wow, look at me. <clears throat> Capsule Collider, you'll need a rigid body. The constraints, I need to freeze the rotation. Um, oh. Yeah, position will be able to move freely, but I think along. The story I'm thinking of is, oh boy, Cthulhu's body is buried. He's an eternal slumber, so he controls the tree and its roots to free himself by making the main character break the tree, hence the root. Oh, that's a lot of um, lore and story. Okay, you, you like, are thinking of like a whole entire game idea, which I think could be really cool. But right now, we only have an app, so um, if you want, you could create like an intro text that, like, I mean, I guess you can't really reveal to the player that, you know, you're helping him. Um, yeah, anyways, anyways. I'm trying to think if I could include that or not. Uh, but I don't think I'll be able to. So on the X and Z, you wouldn't be able to rotate, but on the Y, you can. Um, yes, 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 quite, quite, quite. Root dudes. Root dudes. Um, I'm going to put this here. Um, and then this will sort of be the anchor for the, um, uh, you don't need to be seen. You just need physics, actually. And then this is the, uh, sword anchor. Um, because I want to move this. This rigid body. Right, we'll be constrained on all of them. But he's just gonna be parented. There's something that helped me think of some of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that is that is actually a great way of doing of being able to fill out the rest of the mechanics and stuff is based off of um like story. Of like, well, I don't know where to go from here. Like how does it all link together? And a great way to link it together is just to think of a story. I know I said that. I mean, you were obviously the professional, right? <clears throat> okay. Now I need to create another empty, I think. No, no, no. I, I think I, I just want this to be the box. <laughs> I like how these streams have kind of become. It's just like... Just like rambling and talking about just random stuff as well as like... Just random game development stuff. Like, hey, who said I create a game, by the way? Like, I'm helping you guys learn how to make a game with me. Main camera will be parented to this, but will it be? Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I just had to eat my hand there for a second. Um, so if I move around, 
it will move the camera around. Um, that'll move, that'll move. Boop, 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 Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to make... Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm gonna have to anchor this here, and then this one... Sorry, this one will be... Okay, folder for uh, uh, game two, just so it's not on the same thing. Okay, four minutes in. Plenty of time, plenty of time, plenty of time. This song is really popping off. <clears throat> okay, how do I do this? How do I program? Ooh, new update. Let me update right now. Uh, this guy's probably gonna be on this guy. Uh, and so that means that... No, 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 I think I should... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I can do that, I can do that. I can, um, apply to this one, but then call the game object or game, uh, no, 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 rigid body. Rigid body, RB. Um, and then RB is just, um, get component and parent, rigid body, cool. Um, and so whenever I'm, what kind of assets, like 2D drawn pixel art? Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, I imagine you wouldn't be able to create 3D within an hour, it's just quick 2D. I mean, cause that, that's what I would have done. Like if I were to do that, I'd just be like, bam, bam, bam. Cause also have a whole bunch of other stuff to do for the game. Um... Yeah, I think like any PNG or JPEG would work. Um, although PNG, you'd be able to do alpha values or transparency, um, which is something you should keep in mind if you want to have like, the transparency in it or whatever. Uh, so you don't see like a white box surrounding root Thulu. <clears throat> okay, so input dot, um, yeah, okay. So I want to get vector three. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Well, I guess actually now it will, will be fine. Um, move position equals two vector three. The hard part is getting it to where it's like, oh well, I was jumping one. I can do that. I'm I can I can pick out jumping. Okay, if input dot whatever, I'll just do it this way. Which ones did I did I did I do arrow keys last time? Should I do arrow keys? I think I should do WASD because that's how because you're gonna be using your mouse. Um, um yeah, yeah, I'll just I'll combine it all into one. I'm crazy. If it's A, add one, else zero <clears throat> plus uh, that's A, so I'll do D. Uh, is that a, what is it, is it complaining? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that Minecraft? No, it's not Minecraft. I feel like I'm gonna eat a whole pie after this. Bet. How much we betting? Actually, we know the bets. We put the bets in before we. Oh, I gotta make this bet. <laughs> hey, Amy, this is past. <laughs> um, actually, I think this should be really easy. I think I should be able to do it. Um, actually, I want to with the move position. How? Oh, how would I? I guess it just depends on the angle. Okay, uh, can I just rotate? Hey, no, I can't. Current target, no, 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 quaternion then. They're really rocking out down there. Um, uh, let's pick it. 
13. So you would have. I tell you to go forward. Okay. Uh, the best way I know how to do this is to. Um, what's wrong with this? Oh, move, and that's mouse. Whoops. Best way I know how to do this is with some classic math. <laughs> um. Yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. Math f dot cosine. Um. Sure, I'll, I'll just plug in values, and I can change them later. Of the current transform that rotation uh Euler angles dot y times that actually i think sine is zero at one or sine is one at two uh, plus the cosine y I, there could be like one simple mo Mo position. Um, and now I want to flip it towards y and x. And I think one of these has to be negative, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, it's an R B to add R D velocity. See, right now it's gonna be a very like bam bam. Type of, type of situation. It's not going to be necessarily fluid. Um, or it's not going to have any acceleration behind it. It's either you're going in that direction or you're not. But yeah, I'm just flying off into space. <clears throat> um, move position actually needs x, y, or let me just, yeah, let me copy rb. Yeah, it's fine because then I could just. Um, why was it moving? Get key down, WASD, else it'd be zero. And should it just all be zero? Um, I think I know what the problem is. I don't think it has anything to do with this. That's what I thought. The sword is... Yeah, I can... Um, create a new layer. Call it player. And then I'll do a prayer. <laughs> trying to rhyme it all. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, the... Essentially... The sword is colliding with the person and making a move. So I'm making it to where those do not interact with each other when the physics engine. I'm not good at art. Me neither. That's why I'm having you do it. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, if someone else would like to do the art. I would, if, if I design this hard, yeah, I missed that first one. Um, yeah, I agree. Okay. I don't think I'm going to notice a change that much. Because I don't actually have that much multiply on it. So I'll multiply it. Where should I multiply it? I'll surround this all with a parenthesis. Let's put it here. See, with Unreal, you get base grips to work with to where you don't have to... And they have a good movement default thing, so you don't have to spend the first hour of your project just making this. Oh. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Um, I may have to steal movement script from another game. <clears throat> I 
It moves so fast. I don't even know what happens. Wait, shouldn't W and S be on the same one? Yeah, it is on the same one. What the freak? Bam. Yeah, I'm just gonna steal the script. This is too hard. I don't like programming. This would take too much. Um... Where is it? This one gets. Too much fine control during a limited amount of time. Do even have. Where is it? There it is. Scripts, basic control. Oh. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna open this one. What is this? Oh, interesting. Movement, blah, blah, blah. I can create my own thing. It's pretty much the same thing. Oh, you just multiply. Wait. You just multiply rotation by. Interesting. Okay, so if I do. I guess I should just start multiplying them together. I don't know. position like that um if jump equals zero so that's actually a good script right there movement times equals 10 um but oh okay 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 i'm just gonna copy all this actually okay so i already done that one Bullet jump equals zero jump equals four if our B double C dot Y and then also Yeah, and then also you are pressing a button. Get keep down uh uh keep go I'm actually programming I feel like I'm all sluggish. Why am I so sluggish? Hearing the the rock going out there on the guitars make me want to just play Beat Saber. <clears throat> I'll remove that. Wait, code has been installed for myself. Only pain. Pain. Hope you're not in pain. Oh. Well, I need to make a bigger, uh, bigger, 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 bigger thing. This is why this is so frustrating. She just made it unreal. It would have taken a lot longer, probably. Yeah. Now I can't distinguish. What has happened? Position and it's the same, right? Oh no, no, it's not. You're adding on to it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think it's just because it's adding on to it is that it's going faster and faster and faster and faster and faster until it explodes. Looks like it's relatively working. <laughs> Um, except it's way too fast because I'm multiplying by 10 here. And I think it should be the exact same. Except using a different input system. The only thing I'm kind of concerned about is... Why is WS not working? Am I equaling? I hit W and S and they don't do anything. <clears throat> um, let me output this guy. Vector 3, or no, that's not Log. Move position. And then you're not going to see the output, but I will. So I can determine what's happening. 
We've had 11 people come into the stream in total. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, okay, that's on. Oh, look at that, he jumps. Okay, so I think the rotation drop. Uh, that's been fixed update as well. That's kind of cool. Um, yaw yeah, pitch. Yaw yeah, pitch, yaw yeah, pitch. What? Oh. Oh, yeah, do you know that for World Spanish Chef, you can use your controller? Maybe? I actually don't know. I set it up to where you can, but I don't know if that actually works. Training pre -brunt. Okay. I'm gonna temporarily move on to doing this. <laughs> uh which is the camera position. Input.mouse position. Do I have a delta? I don't think I do, so I think I have to compare. Vector to... This is new vector to... Blah, blah, blah. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, this one minus mass position. And it's like, oh, it's not. Wait. Shouldn't it be a flow? No, it is. Oh, it's your pitch. So it's a vector two. You are right. You are right. Vector two. Um, what's wrong with this? Vector 3 and Vector 2? Is that... Oh, this is a Vector 2? It doesn't... Shouldn't be. Doesn't need to be. You're only returning X or Y. Knocking on heaven's door. I feel like I'm gonna get, like, copyright claim for listening to this. I don't even know if you can hear it. It's pretty good, though. Um, preview rotation, um, would be your own rotation. Transform not rotate. Uh, do 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 boom boom. Boo da boo da boo da boo boo. Um. Okay. And then if this is that, then do that. Um. Or else do that. Boom 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 boom. Hey, let's first see if this yaw pitch thing works. Yaw pitch. Um, as you can see, it's actually working quite well. I can't stop it. <clears throat> um, oh, I'm not resetting. This position <laughs> equals... Sorry if that hurt anyone's eyes. That was not the intention. Mouse position. Please put mouse position. There we go. Okay, about 20 minutes has passed. Oh, we have... Uh, nausea. Okay, so it looks like whatever rotation that is, it's right. I think uh, you should do this. This is so complicated. I'm not even doing the main part. Yeah, if you look whenever I. Ooh, ooh. But if I do this, it's fine. Oh. You think it's pain for you, it's pain for me. Um, what if I... Okay, so it's X and Y. Based off of the transform to up. Vector 3 don't write shit. 
So if you're should I do transform it right then? Which is, there's one where I don't have to. Oh, yeah, transform to right should be controlled by this. Oh, but then the up is wrong. So it should just be vector three. No, up. Yeah, I think it's up. What if you're just a wobbly character? Oh my god. Okay, hold on, let me... Let me just open up World's Finest Show. Why don't I just do that? And see how it's all working. Yeah. Spend 30 minutes making a first person character. This is why if you make a game in an hour, you should not make a first pers person character. Because <clears throat> it takes a whole lot of fine tuning. And a whole lot of um like vector and rotational. Should realistically find like a uh, online source for uh, being able to just import import and drop um, a file in. Five minutes is gonna be 30 minutes in. I haven't even done a single thing. I know why game development so hard. Okay, so if I'm looking at the player here, okay, the player has the player script. Oh, but it has a separate collider compared to the camera, who also has a rigid body. Unconstrained. Which is sort of interesting. I mean that the rotations are there. I wonder if okay, so it's connected to hand R, hand left. Um I mean I guess it's all sort of controlled. Let me copy this exactly one to one. Shouldn't have to, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so I do this. I add a rigid body that is constrained along these axes here. Can you hear my whistle? Hopefully, it's not like blowing out the speaker but typically people can't hear it uh no my renderer um is this getting hot a bit i'm gonna turn on the fans for a little bit uh yeah just capture collider rigid body and the rigid body but this one i guess still does stuff If I go here, it's gonna be like no cameras. Camera, yeah, I just want a camera attention right there. I apparently just do this and it works. Well, I, uh, I messed up some of the lights. Oh, man, it's still up with some of the values. Wait, what do I need? I need this one here to be this one. Oh, oh, too much. Uh, this part. I need that part to be the same, and I need this part to also be the same. Um, except I can probably... Um... Yeah, okay, just the last one. I didn't change so much. Okay, so should I be? Should 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 should. I'm back. Had to do some stuff. Yeah, it's fine. Feel free to come and go as you please. 
I'm bald. <laughs> it worked better. Like the, the camera worked. Why am I phone? Oh, it's because yeah, because it's a it's a rigid. Oh wait, probably set to schematic, right? That makes more sense. So then I don't need to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Am I moving? I can't tell. Let me decrease the size of the cube. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah, C, W, and S aren't working. A and D are reversed. Should I put it? Oh, it needs to go into Z because we're, we're affecting the Z axis, not the Y axis. God, I hate that everything uses a different system of how everything works. Okay, cool. Same physics as the other game. Um, how do I... I, I don't remember it. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, no, I don't remember it. How do I walk the mouse? Lock that mouse. Unity. Cursor dot lock state. I don't need you anymore. Get out of here. I don't need you anymore. She just did that from the beginning. Cursor cursor dot lock state. It's a lot. Um, I wonder if this is a one. Hello? Okay, if you're locked? Oh, if you're locked... It needs to be just that. <laughs> so you're... You gift that you sent. Pretty funny. I wish I could see. What the fuck? He's freaking out. Uh, what are all the options? Oh my god. I think it's... Oh, it's like... Do I have to take the new system? I really don't want to because... It isn't... To, it's gonna take a little bit longer. The thing is about this is that it will, uh, not make sense. I have a universe in a certain input. Because I have a new input system. Well, I mean, I guess they uh, say it like a working in it. Because the code that I'm using, or that I took from Worlds Plane Chef, has the updated one. I hurt my back. Boom, boom, boom. The new input is... Do you want to enable the back end? Doing so with research is able to move. Sure, go ahead. 
idea where it's... You know, got the other script because now I gotta use the uh, window system. Ooh, but I have. I'm still gonna set up. So. Ooh, it updated. Oh, yeah, yeah, I need uh, this guy and this guy. Can I just drag it in? So it can drop me. Uh, this may take a little bit longer just because I can't program. <clears throat> but I am willing to do it for the game of all century. This should work. I should have actually checked what uh, what I did for the thing. Okay, you know, the thing. I should just copy and paste um, this script. Oh. Oh yeah, I have to copy and paste that. Well. Where is that? Have you seen my program? It turns straight up left to me. Oh yeah, we make a part three. Okay, it's just wait, I'm not even moving. Oh wait, is it? Why the mouse doesn't move? It's because it's in a locked position. I didn't need to update everything. 
What did I do? Uh, Person got lock state mode blocked. Yeah, but it's not. It's reading num numero five. One, two, three, four, five, y'all pitch. Writes the game back. Wait, what? Oh, wait, don't I also. Didn't I do both? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all. I. After 45 minutes. Can't move it. But ever to do this again, I'm gonna get. Hey, um, I'm gonna get this all set up beforehand. For, like the movement script and all. Oh my god, look at how snappy this is. Oh yeah. So, I'm gonna say it's starting now. I'm stressed now. Oh, this is gonna be eight and by the time I'm done. Oh no. What is it in terms of like Whoops. Put it down a bit, but it almost seems like forward with the pen. Okay, okay, okay. You can see it. Now I just need to. Well, oh, it's just going to get to power to go. Let's see what this back has. set this all to play so they don't interact with each other and this cube will have a rigid body um, uh, yeah I guess yeah, I'm gonna have a point I stopped naming things. Since sword and three. Yeah, I'll just have it zero, then I'll just swipe across with it. They call me the stupid dog man. What the gun that? I'll fight him. Is kinematic, and then I'll add a sort of fixed joint. I'm not a fixed joint, I'm just giving it enough. Configurable. Configurable. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Articulation model. It's going to make me think about something. All of this is locked. Uh, 
these more wood to do this. Ah, oh, that looks good. Um, I think right now it's a bit too static. It needs a bit more. See what happens if I swing. Uh -oh. Swing. Okay, swinging doesn't work. Enable collision. Reforce tolerance. Oh, man. Let's see if I need rotation, but I, I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, not this one. This one frees rotation. I still want to tell it so bad. It, Stubbing a turd. Turd? Stubbing a turd do shirt. Ain't me at right. And you can actually on the stubbing toe there. I'm told later. Sorry, I hope your toe feels better. Oh. May have broken it. It's just a basic thing. Oh yeah, what is this do? Oh, it's gone. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, it's gone. Slam audibly. Ooh. That's always the worst one we can get. Okay, yeah, those are on the edge, but what are these on? So 
it's locked, but then it's free. Um, did I change anything else? I think I changed this. Oh, yeah. Wait, they're all set to free anyways. Man. Oh, yeah, okay, it is. What I set it to. Same. This one, and I can't get rid of it because I may need it again. And it's gone. Probably because it shouldn't be counting. Okay, this one should be coming out of here. Put this one here now. Let's see what this does. Instead. I thought this would be a lot more entertaining than it is. Right now, this is a bit boring. I'm trying to go and do the stuff that could just be easy. It's taking forever for some reason. I might as well just make Hongkong Tree 2 at this point. The printable junction here. Um, let me disable this temporarily. The problem with this is that it's going to. Unless I need. What is this doing? Oh! <laughs> Because I didn't set. Ah. Maybe my voice is dying. What I may do. Oh, well, probably do. Oh, don't fall off. Um, is that I'm. I'm probably going to finish this off stream. It's not going to be an hour, unfortunately. Because this is just taking longer than I would have thought it would have been. Also, I'm going to turn this off and turn the fan so you can hopefully hear me more. Whew. Man. Because it's pretty much. In like five minutes, it would have been an hour since I said it would have been an hour, and I've literally gotten like zero progress done. Um, it's not that entertaining, so due to those factors, you know, me not yeah, having the energy 
We'll continue, we'll pick this up for part three next time. No, no, no. The main reason also why I say that we're going to do off stream and not on stream um, as well is because uh, I don't want this to persist for another two weeks. Because I've already, I've already like split it up into two and I would want to try and do some other stuff that I think will be fun and entertaining. Uh, and I don't want to just be sitting there struggling for another hour. Yeah, I'll be paying. And plus, it'll give Ricky more time to, to make some cool assets. Um, and yeah, because I, I don't want to be like, well, this is all that I created an hour. That's it. You gotta work with this. Um, so yeah, I just, I mainly don't want to have it split over, and I think this, we should be seeing next stream. I don't type good. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, I think, I think you suggested the first stream, and the first stream was like, I think it's just gonna be me. Me learning how to talk to myself. But yeah, for the next stream, we could. I gotta think about, um, what we're gonna do for the next stream. There could be something involved with you, PC. Um, oh, and I should say that the next stream won't be in two weeks because that's spring break. And I'll be at home with maybe not so good uh, internet connection. I'll probably be camping. Um, so yeah, I'll actually do it in three weeks. So it's going to offset the whole schedule by a week. Um, and hopefully I'll be back refreshed and um, with, with the game to show. It'll probably be like a short segment of showing off the game and then getting the game judged. Um, maybe, yeah. Sorry, this is taking so long. I'm learning how to do like events. Because I've always wanted to do events like this. That's kind of the main reason why I both really wanted to do live streaming and both didn't want to do live streaming. Ooh, spring. Oh, yeah, spring breaks would be awesome. I'm going to get so much work done on like uh, projects and stuff. The videos and i think that's gonna be just super amazing i'm gonna get a whole lot of work done hopefully tomorrow as well and over the weekend and stuff um so yeah lots of lots of plans lots of stuff um and uh oh yeah <laughs> going back i'm a lot slower going between ideas um also for I just realized that it's outputting the debug.log. Um, oh yeah, I both really wanted to and both really didn't want to do live streaming is because I wanted to do events. Uh, and events are, are really fun to do, but the thing is you need a lot of people. Luckily, I have Ricky always here to, to bounce off of to do events. So I'll, we'll think of um, we'll think of the next stream idea and stuff and start it. Oh, oh, oh working and doing stuff. I kind of like doing it to where, um, or doing something to where it gets you exhausted. I had this idea whenever I did like a, uh, like a, after, after like I do game jams, I kind of think of that. I'm just going to ramble for like the last 10 minutes to round out the three hours, by the way. Um, just to kind of wind down. And you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll sit. Can I sit? Wait, what, 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 what should I do with this? Should I do camera full screen and then I just... Yeah, so basically... Um... Still too There I am. Look at my floor. It's a beautiful floor. I'm just looking at myself. I can't even see you guys. <clears throat> Um, yeah, it, uh, yeah, what was I going to say? Something. I may just say it now, but I, I thought it'd be nice to sit here, relax, ponder. Oh wait, do you guys get to decide the poster in my room? No, nope, still 500 subscribers. Can't, can't do it. Let me put this down here so I'm not reaching as far. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this stream. Um, sort of, see some school stuff. Sort of all over the place. 
but also sort of not, instead of doing events. I don't like doing events. Um, I didn't plan to do events originally. I was like, oh, I'm just going to do, like, talking streams like this, because I like talking. But then I realized it's very awkward, weird, and I just don't understand. It must be a real, real bad one. Bad Nick. Um, sometimes I do that as well, because I, like, pace in my room and the bed's right there, and, um, so you pick the metal pole. And it, it hurts. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, what was I saying? I, I, um, after doing, like, a couple of game jams, man, that was, that was really fun. Just, like, getting exhausted over thing, uh, over something in the terms of, like, you forget everything else that you're doing, and you just focus on this one thing, because, like, either you have, like, a time limit, or you're, you're, you're just there, um, and you're, you're trying to get, like, a goal accomplished, or you're working on something, and, um, and doing live streaming, it was like, um, it's like, oh, well, that's, it's kind of the same thing, except, you know, it's just every other week, it's only three hours as well, um, and, uh, it kind of, kind of makes me a bit exhausted for, like, Saturday. I miss playing games with you. Oh, yeah. yeah. You gotta, you gotta play games, play games, play games. Ooh, like crab game. <laughs> Ooh, we could do, we could just do a gaming stream. We just play, like, crab game and stuff. That. That's it. You just play games. I get the next game idea. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just, like, I think of the, like, uh, I was, I was thinking, like, oh, yeah, for the streams, I'm just going to, um, say or do whatever and it's just you know, just talking the stream or whatever but then I was like I feel like I ramble and I'm all over the place and since there's only like one or two other people it feels like a really weird one-sided conversation um and I prefer kind of not to do that um it just feels just unproductive and not that um not that entertaining I would say um so then I had the idea, what if I do an event? I feel like I have enough people here to do an event. Um, and so then I do events. And that's that's why I, I got the idea of the uh, me versus you. I just didn't expect it to take so long. And then the last stream, I was just exhausted. Or not exhausted, just like... Like I'm, I'm used to um, just doing nothing on Saturdays. It's like typically don't have anything on Saturdays. And then because of that, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get stuff done, and then I find I can't get anything done, then I'm like, I kind of enjoy that, I kind of like that. And that's just because, that's just what I do on Saturdays. And because of that, my mind's gotten so used to having that. Like, last, last week, I was like, I just didn't have the energy. Um, but I still did it, I worked on it. But yeah. But yeah, this is fun. I like kind of hanging out. It's still kind of just chatting, but we're actually like, doing things as well um and we are enjoying it so what i don't i forget uh keep the momentum going oh like um <clears throat> like um for for streams keep the momentum going or, or what do you mean my brain's a bit slow. Oh, my back hurts as well. How's it going stay? <laughs> um. So yeah, I think we have a we have a few streams left before the end of the semester. So we'll we'll be doing a few things. Uh, one stream, two streams, play. It's, uh, a few streams <clears throat> and then um for next semester i don't actually know if i'm gonna stream again or not i think what i'm probably gonna do is if i think of a stream idea i'll just do it because i know how to stream them like this is just kind of the test run of like can i just stream consistently can i you know maybe think concept to do in the middle of the stream or whatever and just kind of do it and see how much energy like the stream takes out of me what what i can do during streaming because I'm like, can I program during the stream? It turns out I can't really because I, I mean, I myself think it's kind of boring. Um, and I feel like 
I used to I used to try to stream games but I had no one to talk to so I got bored. Yeah. Yeah, it's kinda it's really weird. That's why I invited you onto the stream, because I'm like, this this is really weird. Especially since I get used to you always commenting in the streams, that you not commenting in the streams just really put me off. I was like, should I just stop? <laughs> um Cause I like I like the back and forth interaction. Just streaming and not getting any back and forth interaction. I don't know, it's just really dumb, stupid. But it is how you get started because sometimes you just you can't you don't have an audience to stream to. Um but yeah, I'll probably like next semester, like uh, after this, after I'm like kind of realize what I can and cannot stream and uh, what I'm able to do and what people enjoy and who's gonna be here, who's not sort of how streams go, and sort of like breaking the tension of like, oh, do I want to do a stream? Uh, and now just being able to just do a stream. I mean, like the, the um, like for example, the Thank Mystery. I really like doing that, even though it's like not my first official stream. It was sort of like dipping my toe in the water as well. Here's me every stream. I'm glad you look forward to these. Um, I hope people look forward to these, and they have fun. I don't know what's Actually, I really need to. I'll probably do it during the summer, but I'm probably gonna look back and rewatch the streams and see like, what's entertaining and what's not. Like, I'm gonna be watching myself doing this and be like, it's entertaining. Why are you just talking to yourself doing nothing? Um, because I mean, I can sort of. It's like I, I'm in general, I would say, good at putting myself in other pe people's feet. That sounds weird. Um, in, in the other person's perspective. <laughs> um, but, uh, I don't know, for live streaming, it's really weird. Um, because, uh, I have to, it's, it would just be too much to think about, to always be thinking of, like, well, how's the other person? Um, because I have to be, I have to be sort of more in my head and more on the improv. To, uh, to kind of keep it going and stuff and, and make sure that my energy level is off the charts. I think I have a lot of energy Friday because, you know, I'm, I'm finished with the stuff. And like I said, Saturdays are kind of like my, it's like my off days, even if I, I, I'm like, no, it's... Um, yes. <laughs> that's... Oh my God. I know I shouldn't have said that. I've, I've made a, I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> um, yeah, I also think, like, I would really like to experiment around with this stream idea. I've always kind of wanted to experiment around with this stream idea, and I haven't yet. I don't think I will during this semester. But if I ever have a stream idea, I have maybe a stream idea. Uh, then we could do some very interesting if you've, if you've seen my Doug Doug streams, those are, are not even the streams, just the videos, because that's what I watch. Um, those are pretty good. And also, I think I was watching some of Ludwig as well recently, because I, I saw that he won my stream of the year, and I saw like a couple of his like videos before, and I was like, oh, I think I'm doing a stream or two. I, I don't think I've seen really a stream recently. I remember watching some of his streams like, last year. I was like, I could try it. That's the best one to do. Try. Um, but yeah, I'll, so I'll, I'll finish the game. I'll finish the, um, the root game idea because I think it's actually it's actually a pretty good one. Um, and I'll try to like time it to an hour in terms of like oh I'm well, like pretty much right now I'm sort of hour zero because I, I feel like in terms of progress it feels like zero hours have kind of gone by because it was just making the first person character which. I feel like doesn't involve the game at all. It's really just a copy and paste. Um, and then yeah, I'll work on it for like an hour. Uh, what would I deem to be an hour and put in as many features or whatever it is. And work on all that. So in, uh, in five minutes, only three hours, I have to go home. I am home. Woot! Yeah. I thought it was a, I thought it was a good, um, Game theme, Jim. 
like, oh, rude, that sounds really interesting, like, I could do something with, I mean, maybe because I'm, like, limiting myself, because I'm like, oh, I, there's only an hour to do it, um, but, um, yeah, it's not, it doesn't really get the ideas flowing as, as I think it could, I mean, granted, the other, I am comparing it to other ones, like, partition uh, and, uh, what was another one? Um, like competition. I mean, there's oh, and then like a negative space. I mean, I, I guess I, I don't know some of them. Some theme ideas are like I don't know where to go. I said you just have to just make something like weird. Um. Oh, I've been standing. Well, I, I haven't been standing all week. I was just standing all today. I think yesterday. My back's just hurt. Yeah, kind of got the idea for my head. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I think definitely like taking a break and like talking and doing other stuff help. <laughs> um, think of a game idea. And I mean, that's kind of generally how it works. I mean, like, uh, for in general, it's it's hard for I, okay. I, I like to claim that I'm like a really creative person, and I'm like, oh yeah, I can, like, I, I have really good ideas. The thing is, is that the only way I have really good ideas is to have some sort of starting place. <laughs> like, I can't think of like necessarily an original idea really easily, but I can really, I can really, really, uh, well, like, round out an idea. Um, I think it's just because of, like, I have great, like, 3D visualization in my head that I can do, and so I imagine it, and I can just sort of build it out. Um, but, like, starting an idea, I'm like, I don't know where to go with this. Um, but yeah, typically, how we get past that stage is to just um, take a while with it. Realize that it's gonna take a while, like at least an hour, if it's like a 24 hour game jam. And I think you should take a, a while because some some game ideas that have been done in the past that were done in like less than an hour, maybe like 30 minutes, aren't that good. <laughs> We've, uh, we have had good game ideas from that. But yeah, just taking taking your time with, with the starting idea is important. Then once you're there, then I can get it for the first one. 3D visualization. That's why I'm always like looking at games. I'm like, oh my gosh, like my mind's going. It has so much potential. I can see all this and all that going with it. And I mean, that's kind of the theme of the next next video that but this one, um, which you kind of, uh, it's, it's related to the um, Plants vs. Zombies augmented reality thing that I was talking about. I think that could pop cap, um, makes a, um, or I think it's EA, pop cap, whatever, makes an augment. I think they're making like a card game or whatever, right? or Plants vs. Zombies 3, um, but it's like really slow development. I haven't heard like anything about it. Um, I don't even know if they're still working. But, um, I would say Pens vs. Zombies would probably be the game idea that would have the most potential with the augmented reality, uh, uh, current technology, or, like, current way that the games work right now, like, um, Minecraft Earth and stuff like that, but then it could also be expanded. You know what I really wanted to create? The first, the first idea that I had with Augmented reality is actually a um, an escape room where everyone like is looking around and like there's there's random posters posted on the wall through the through the thing and you can interact with it. It's too complicated though. Um, I could do it, but it is not my current. I think I've only made like a couple augmented reality things, like the um, Siren Head augmented reality experience, which people are really down with. Let me just. Bah. Open that up real quick and, and show you, and then I'll I'll end the stream soon. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, I'm gonna show you and just give you nothing. Um, yeah, right here, you can see that all these are the Siren Head augmented reality, and then someone even claimed to um, to use it. I'll actually, show you real quick. Uh, let me go to the the game. It's really easy to find this guy. But he left a comment. <laughs> Uh, right here, I believe, right here, um, 570, he's got more subscribers than me, man, um, but I think he actually has two videos using the, the thing, it says firewall VFX test. Because what? I like that song. Uh, where is it? Hold on, real quick. Last thing. He stole my content, so I get to steal his. But only steal the stuff that he stole of me. I swear I can find it, unless he removed it. Is this the same person? Found footage number four. Wait, I feel like I need to just, uh maybe this one. No, 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 it's out. It's out. You can clearly sell. I think there's another one before that. Let me quickly see if I can find it. And if not, I'll just play this one. Legend of Siren, Firewall, Siren, Siren. Oh wait, that one's... Wait, is that one marked? I don't even know what that was. No, uh, that is... Uh, the, okay, hold on. What's this? Oh! <laughs> one last tangent. Negative. What? <clears throat> I went negative so I could buy a BBM's... I know what that means. Uh, we have too many open. Do, 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 do. This is the last thing. I just need to find it. Is this it? I don't think this is it. Okay, he's at, he actually does some of his own stuff. He didn't see. He just, okay, this one. You can see. I think it's at the end. No, it's not at the end. What? Maybe it's just at the beginning. Maybe he's just staring at the ground all the time. I swear it's here. This is the last thing. I'm sorry. Sorry to keep it here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this? That's mine. That's his. It's. I mean, he's done effects on it. I gotta admit. But the first one that I saw not that important. Can am I still why is it loading? Okay, there we go. That was the last thing. Oh man, this is what we'll fade out to. Do 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 Goodbye. We'll do, we'll do bigger, better stream next two weeks, next two weeks.